Hey, what's going on everybody? How are we doing today? Gonna check out the Abode P8 today. There has been some software updates lately, so hopefully we can get through a nice testing run to see just how good this guy works. I'm gonna have it clean mainly my kitchen and hard floor area for this test. We're gonna see how well it vacuum and mops at the same time. And this will go back and clean the mops and I'll try to get that on video, kind of show you and explain what it's doing as it goes back. Alrighty, like I said, I'm gonna have it clean my kitchen and dining room area. And I have that on the map here. I'm gonna have it clean D and E only, just for this test. The rest of the house is mainly carpet and then a different hard floor area. I'm not too concerned with those right now, so we're just gonna do D and E. I put down a little bit of a mess for it to clean up, and then I just wanna see overall how well it goes back, cleans the mopping pads. So this is the area it's gonna clean. Got my dining room, dining table, and then my kitchen all the way up there. I did put down some spilt chocolate milk right there. As you can see, it's just now spilt, so it's wet. Nothing, none of this is completely dry. Then I put down some kind of like dirt, as if you were playing out, your kids were playing outside and they came in the house with dirty shoes, and that's what it's left on the floor. So we'll see how well it vacuums up that dirt as well as cleans up the dirt that's actually on the floor itself. Then we're just gonna come over here and see how well it does in here and see just overall how well it does. I really want this robot vacuum to do a good job because this is the future of robot vacuums, the ones that mop and to go and clean themselves. Now the next iteration of these are gonna be ones that self empty as well, kind of like the one here on the right. So let's go ahead and send this guy out. We'll see how well it cleans. I have D and E selected as you see. I have sweeping and mopping together. This does have an onboard water tank on the robot vacuum itself. So as it goes around, it should re-wet the pads as it goes. And then when it either senses that they're dry or the tank is low, it'll come back and clean the mopping pads as well as refill the water tank. Now in another setting, Here is the cleaning mode. So I have suction power on low since vacuuming is not top priority here. Mopping wetness on high. And then the rag cleaning is how often it's gonna come back and clean those pads and refill the tank. I have that on depth. So that's gonna be the most often. Every 10 square meters it cleans, it's gonna come back and scrub those pads and refill. So before this job is done, it should go back at least once and clean those pads and then refill that tank come back out, finish the job, and then clean the pads again. So let's go ahead and send this guy out. Before we do, if you guys like these types of videos, please do me a favor, like, and subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming, a lot more competition, and some head-to-head -head challenges, as well as the newest and greatest robot vacuums coming on this channel. So I would really appreciate it for you to join this channel. And let's go ahead and get this guy cleaning. All right, guys, right now it is cleaning the mopping pads or pre-soaking them. You can hear it pumping water down into that basin. And now it is sucking the water out of the basin and putting it into the dirty water tank, which is right here. You can kind of see it flowing in there. Pretty cool. bubbles in there because I did put a detergent strip in there. Right now you can hear the pad spinning. And that is spinning against a board with little bumps on it and that's what's cleaning the pads. And it does this every time when it goes out and in turn it's also soaking the pads before it goes out. I think he needs a refill huh? Remember we got the chocolate milk over here, so it gets a later. And then the dirt and stuff right over there. So we'll see after this test is done if it got up all the chocolate milk. Okay, it said the floor plan has been found. So now it is going to clean the area that I selected. As you can see, the floor is nice and wet. You should be able to see that. 
It is very quiet on low suction mode with the mops going. You could easily have this in the background cleaning even if you're working on your computer or desk over here. So remember guys, this is a demo unit that they sent me, it's a pre-production model. So they are working out any kinks or anything that is not perfect with this robot as of right now before they finalize and actually ship these to you guys. So everything in this video may not be perfect. That's why they sent them out to us YouTubers so they want feedback from us to see how well this guy does and to let them know what issues they're having. As of right now, the issues, the only issue I've seen with this is with it supplying its own water. It seems like after about 10 minutes, the mopping pads do get a bit dry. However, I haven't ran this with the new software update, so hopefully they fixed any issue with that. And once again, I'm sure before they send these out to their customers, they'll have that fully working and fully fixed. Otherwise, they're just gonna get a ton of returns, to be honest. See if it got up that piece of paper. It did, that's good. So it should turn here. I don't want you going in there. There's nothing to clean. Okay, that's where the cutoff is. So based off the room selection I did, it should not clean anything over there, but it will clean all this area. So I'm really hopeful. I hope the software issue fixes this because other than the water not pumping onto the pads from previous test, this seems like a pretty good overall robot vacuum, especially for the price. So it's still wet, so that's good. I've told them several times that I'm having issues excuse me, with the water, and hopefully they corrected it in, in this off software. But I know I keep saying that, but I've been messing with this robot for a while now, and it's been having some issues, but they have fixed a couple of things. So that's why I'm pretty sure when they do launch this and actually send you guys the robot, they're gonna have all these issues fixed. So I'm gonna let this guy go and clean up a bit. And once it gets to the chocolate milk and then that dirt area, I'll try to grab the camera and make sure to get that for you. And the reason it's on the carpet right now is because the, the room division that I did was not perfect. So it thinks that's the line. So it's gonna go up there naturally thinking. I'll be back when it cleans up those spots. Gee, sorry guys, it just came over here for some reason right after I turned off the camera and ran over just some of this as it was driving through to pick where it wants to start cleaning. So as you can see where it did go over, it did suck up a lot of the dirt. It hasn't officially cleaned this section yet. So we'll redo and go over this. So I'm pretty confident, especially after seeing it going over, over it once, it'll pick up the rest of this. But I will try to get that. I was not expecting it to drive over here in that path so i missed it sorry about that but i'll make sure to get the rest of it because now it is following the dedicated path all right guys you can never predict what these robots are going to do so it's going back it cleaned exactly the 10 meters and now it's going back to clean itself which is great because that was the other issue i was having in previous tests is it was not going back to refill and clean the pad, so that's really, really good news. So that's something this software update fixed, but did go over this area again, but there is still a little bit of debris. But once this test is done, I can pretty much guarantee you all that will be completely gone. And uh, I'll try to get the rest of it, but this robot's been going in different directions than all the others. 
and I will show you this chocolate milk as well. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. This thing is working the best yet so far, so I really think they're on to something with this update. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. At $600, is it a must buy? I'll let you know as soon as this is done and I'll give you my 100% honest opinion on this robot. They did send it to me for review, but I'm under no obligation whatsoever to tell them that it's a great robot because I will never do that on this channel. I will never tell you a robot's great unless it is truly great. Of course, it is cleaning those pads, sucking out the water right now. to go back up pick exactly where it left off do another 10 square meters keep going exactly where it left off finish the job come back and do exactly that again the job will be complete and i'm crossing my fingers this time guys i'll be completely honest i've been dealing with issues with this robot for the past probably 30 days but once again this is a demo unit and they have been taking my advice and fixing certain things so that's the whole point of this process, and I'm glad companies are doing this to test it out and make sure it's going to be good and up and running when you guys do receive yours after paying for it. Refill, please. All right, cool. It's going to resume. back and cleans. So as you can see, even without it fully mopping, like it's gonna go over that spot again and the chocolate milk's already pretty much gone just from it kind of barely running it over. But once it comes out, I'll resume the video again and we will see it get the rest of the chocolate milk. So this thing is working good, which makes me really happy. It's gone back now twice to clean itself in this small area and before it was not doing that. So they are listening, they are updating what's needed to be updating and they still aren't ready to ship. Um, they're still in the kind of pre-order stage. So once again, I've said this a few times, I think by the time they actually ship them to the customers, everything that I've told them is gonna be fixed. All right, it's done with the process of its cleaning its mopping pads. It should go exactly where it left off, so it should spin around here, yep. And it would go over the rest of the chocolate milk if it didn't already and hit it. There's that pump going. Another thing that was not working before, but it is now. And once again, it's only going up on that because of the rim division that I put in. All right, now it's going to go and finish the job. So as you can see, the mopping pads are nice and wet again. And it already went over this area. I <laughs> apologize again for missing it, but as you can see, it got it all up. All right, guys, so that's really what you need to see on this. It's kind of like the first test video. Uh, I'll do more testing in the future with this and let you guys know. My personal opinion, this is best for hard surfaces so if you have all you know hard floors in your house i think it's definitely a good deal uh, it's not the greatest on carpet it will work on carpet um, but it's more of a dedicated mop so think have that in mind it will work but it's not going to have like the suction power of a much higher end vacuum itself let me know in the comments what you think about this robot let me know if it's something you're interested in if you enjoy this video at all, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. I'd love for you to join this channel. If there's anything specific you want to know about this or my other 70 robot vacuums, let me know in the comments and I'll try to make that possible for you. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Say goodbye, Mr. P8. They're signing off.